So something that I want to get done now that all our cows are up on the range is take some of these smaller calves that I had to keep behind, make a little pen for them out here in front of the house. So I've got Pepper, you know, our bottle fed calf, and I've got two more calves that I keep behind. I've got three calves in total, you know, Pepper and those two other ones over here in the Quonset. And what I want to do is we've got these five panels here that kind of make up this makeshift fence line here in front of our house. So I'm just going to take these and make a, a pen in all this nice green grass that we got. And it'll be a small enough pen that hopefully I can just move it around as I eat all this grass. Then I get Pepper closer, of course it's easier to bottle feed her and start to get her weaned off that bottle. And then I'll just keep a bucket of water or something for him out here. And I'll probably try to find a tarp or a little shelter for him so they can get under shade if they want to. So I'm just going to start right here, all this nice green grass. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to flip over these panels here because as you can see some of them have rails busted off so i'm going to flip them over on their tops we'll play with this throughout the summer but I'm, i just want to get them out here and out of that quonset so i think we'll just throw together these five panels for now and see how long that grass lasts them before we have to move it well pepper is going to be the easy one to catch i don't think the mother two will be too bad either Pepper's probably just gonna get in the way and be a pain in the butt. Oh, here's these two. And then it looks like Pepper cr crawled through that water trough and is over there against that fence. Come on, kibbies. Come on, kibbies. So we got them two calves in. We're just gonna grab a bottle and just bait Pepper over here. So we just stuck these two up in the front here. And I'll grab Pepper and stick her in the back. She's waiting for me. Come on, Pepper. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Meh. So a little explanation on what we kept off the range and why. So Orson, our old Hereford bull, he's just too old to go up on the range. He's already been up there his three years. Same with that black bull we got from Randall. And this is gonna be one of our beefs we butcher in January, along with these three in here. And I just like keeping my beefs home where they're not roaming up on the hills all summer. Cause I feel like I can get them to gain weight better down here on this nice grass and where it's flat and they're not roaming around too much. And then this cow of mine with number nine and this little Bronco face calf. She was lame when we brought him in off the, the pasture out here and having a hard time walking, so we just kept her home too. And that cow back here and under the shelter lost her calf this winter. And she's, and she's getting older, so I'm gonna make her into a hamburger cow here in about two weeks. Hey, mister! Hey, mister. You want a bottle of feet, Kathy? Go for a ride? Else, hold on, hold on. This is what we got for him. So we're just gonna back right in there and dump him off into that. Ready? Come on, Else. Want to open this one too? Come on, kibbies. Come on, kibbies. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kathy. Hey, Kathy. You get the bottle. <laughs> we should be happy here for a couple days, I'd hope. So before it gets too dark, we're going to go run and grab a mineral tub for these calves and a block of salt. And we'll grab another tub that we can put water in for them, too. We're ready. We're ready. Go. Is mommy getting the gate? Make sure you see who's doing the real job here. Lindsay wants you to know that she's doing all the work. Okay. 
getting in. Someone's gotta get the gate. Oh, you know, we no don't cows. have to shut it. There's no cows. There's no cows. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the pasture that we had all the cows in before we took them up on the forest. And you can tell how much shorter the grass is out here. Just gonna grab one of these mineral tub to use for the water. And then we got some tubs itself, some mineral in them too that we're gonna grab also. What else is that the one? How's that one look? Is there any holes in it? Whoa. What's here? That's the one. Yep, yeah, that's the one. So we got our tub with the mineral in it that I just threw that half eaten block of salt there. Now we're gonna see if we can't get this garden hose and another garden hose over there to reach our spigot off the house. Then we'll fill up this other tub with water. And call it good for the night for these calves. So we barely got enough hose. Like I said, this is all just kind of experiment here. I don't know how long we can keep them in here before we have to move this. But I'd hope at least, you know, a couple of days, then move it. They seem pretty happy to be eating green grass, so. Hey, Pepper. So the last thing I need to do tonight is just unhook that trailer off my Dodge. And I gotta put an old broken deep freeze on the back of the truck. I use that deep freeze to haul my beef around in. I got my hamburger and stuff. And, and when I do the butcher steers, I'll pick up the beef in those freezers. It'll work out pretty nice just like having a giant cooler on the back of your truck. Cause that cow that broke her leg last week and I had a shooter who turned her into hamburger. And it's done. Gotta run up to the butcher and grab her tomorrow when I get off of work. So this is all I use, just an old deep freeze. I just need to clean out some of the leaves and clean it out a little bit. And I'll throw it on the back of the truck and we'll be good to go. Go get us some hamburger tomorrow. I just got here to the butcher, grabbed that hamburger. So on my way home from work after I grabbed that hamburger, I also made a stop and grabbed some metal for us. So I got a bunch of pipe. And this is what I wanna make them braces out of when we build that elk fence. Cause I wanna put them braces into metal and concrete them in. And I don't wanna do the braces out of wood. It just seems like they fall over over time. And I just wanna make them out of metal and put them into concrete. So hopefully I won't ever have to do it again. So these ones here, these four, or five inch pipe and then uh, them four over there are six inch and I got a couple like two inch pipe and then a three inch one here That job's done. We got all that pipe unloaded. And of course we're gonna get this hamburger unloaded. So it's just been two days since we put these three calves in this pen. I'm just walking over there to see how much grass I got left. See if I need to move them yet. Oh wow. Hey Pepper. Hey Pepper. So you can see they've eaten it down pretty good already. So I should probably get them moved. I think as we keep doing this, I'm gonna add a few more panels to this. I've got a few more panels I can add to make this a little bit bigger. I'll just steal them off of this fence line here because we don't need them right now. So I've got three more I could grab right here. I'll just have to put them back later this fall whenever our cows come off the range. We'll see how easy we can move this. Well, that's a little bit of a workout, but 
that's good. It's good for me to get a little bit of exercise every now and then. So a little bit more of an explanation of why I have these three calves. So this one here, Pepper, of course she's our bottle fed calf. And her mother rejected her early, earlier this winter. So that's why we've got her out here. And this one here, number 14, her mom was that cow that broke her leg a couple weeks ago that I put down and, and take to the butcher. And she's the one that just became hamburger. I put on the, I put in that deep freeze on the back of my truck that we just put into the house. And this calf here, number 12, she got kicked off her mom because her mom got mastitis or some kind of infection in her udders and she kicked this calf off. And so she hasn't had milk for well, quite a while, probably a month or two. Like I said, I just didn't catch it in time. And that's kind of why she looks like she does, kind of, kind of the run of the bunch. Kind of an unlucky spell right here. So this is calf number 12 we had this year. Pepper was calf number 13. And this calf right here was number 14. It's kind of un it's kind of a unlucky bunch there. I guess depending on how you look at it. Well, now that I got my mobile lawnmowers working, I'm gonna go on to some different projects. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Have a good day.